Hello everybody and welcome back to the workbench for this week's Let's Build Review where we had a special guest star, Linny, coming down with some of their kits for us to build together. We had an absolutely fantastic stream. You... We had a brilliant chat going, we looked at some of Linny's wonderful new kits, we did the test build, we have this one here built by myself on the stream, this one here built alongside by Linny with a few glances as we went on, it has been fantastic. These are South Eastern Railway covered wagons. Uh, Actually, they're not finished. We did not get as much done as we normally would because there was so much activity in chat. It was incredible. You really had to be there. It was fantastic. And I would and more nights like that would be brilliant. Please do come along on the Sunday nights. I, ha I had a great time. Linny had a great time. And from what I can tell of the chat, everyone else had a great time too. So, we will of course be continuing these in the future. We have... They're so free rolling, they're running away. We have a few more bits of strapping to add. We have the entirety of the other side to do. We have the roof to do. But, whilst Lily was here, Lily bought a lot more kits with them. So we have a nice selection of Lily's kits to look at in the future. However, Linny won't be able to be here from them. Unfortunately, they do live 450 miles away. It's a little bit far to come down for three hours on a Sunday night. But I'm sure we shall have them back again in future. It has been great having a co-host with me. So we shall move them aside. So as you can see, this flyer has changed. In fact, this flyer will be coming out again and we'll be going back to not having a flyer starting this weekend. It changed tonight because, of course, this live stream has followed just mere hours after the end of the Upfield Model Railway Exhibition 2019. So what we have here is the flyer for the Upfield Model Railway Exhibition 2020, 17th and 18th October. Get it booked in your calendars early, everyone. It's going to be a fan. This year was fantastic. Last year was fantastic. The year before that was fantastic. Next year is going to be fantastic. Whilst I was there, I picked up a nice selection of Phoenix Paints, ready for us to get on with some projects. We can finally paint that i3. It is going to be wonderful. How wonderful, you ask? It's going to hopefully be this wonderful. This is my first i3 kit, which has been had the paintwork touched up, and detailed, and the transfers done for me by Linny. It is incredible to have it back. It needs a motor adding, it needs pickups adding, it needs a DCC chip adding, but it is an incredible locomotive. I'm so glad to have it back. So there is a sneak peek of what is to come from the i3 kit. I also picked up some South Eastern Chatham Railway locomotive numerals in both six and seven inch the six inch ones are for the p classes the seven inch ones will go on my h my c my o1 and of course the d class when we build that that is currently due to be our next big project however whilst i was at uckfield there was a man with some second-hand bits. And Linny came over to me to say, I've spotted something you might like. And it came in the form of a K's box for a very reasonable price of an LBSC K-Class Mogul. A fantastic locomotive. I have always loved the K-Class. 
And so we now have a K's K ready to build in the future. Of course, whilst the D is planned as the next project, if people would like to see me build the K class first, do leave a comment down below saying you would like to see that because I am, of course, open to switch projects about to what we would like. We, of course, also have the projects that we were hoping to have finished before Upfield to finish at some point because. Unfortunately, I had to miss a stream due to illness, but we will get back to those. We will get them done. I would love to get the i3 finished, though. That has been a long project. It has been a great build, and it would be great to see it hit that final point of getting paint on, getting the transfers on, and saying, look at this fantastic loco we have made together. So yes, that is what happened this week in Let's Build. It has been fabulous and I look forward to seeing you next week. Well, this week in fact, on Sunday, there is but a few days to go as you are watching this. Of course, as you know, for me, there is still a week to go because at this point here, the stream finished 11 minutes ago. I had a great time, Linny had a great time, as I say, chat seems to have had a great time. So thank you for joining us, and I shall see you on Sunday. Bye for now.